Hi everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos. I'm really excited today to be sharing a bunch of organization I did in my office using just dollar store supplies. I went to a couple of my local dollar stores, grabbed some things, some items I just used as is, some I transformed a little bit, and some I fully DIY'd. So I'm going to show you everything I did to try and organize this space. I am sharing this video as part of the DIY Mummies DIY and Home Decor Challenge. I will link to her challenge as well as her page in the description below. Definitely go check it out for tons more organization inspiration. We renovated this office about six months ago. I have a whole video of the renovation that I will link up top, but it was such a fun process and the before and afters of this space are so dramatic. It was a huge transformation. Since then, I've been trying to add some organization to my office here and there, and I thought using some dollar store items and trying to revamp them into something modern and nice for the space would be a fun video for you guys, so that's what I'm doing today. When I was doing these projects, I had one project that pretty significantly failed. I really hated the look of the end result. I tried to fix it, and then I ended up just creating something completely new. So I'm going to show you that whole process because sometimes it's fun to see the fails as well but I'm really happy with most of the DIYs that we did in this space. I hope you like everything. Let me get right into those projects. My first couple projects of the day involve these 12 by 16 inch wooden canvases or artist panels that I got at our local dollar store. For my first project, I used my favorite black gel stain that I will link to in the description below and I stained all of the sides of this artist canvas. I have free printable and downloadable calendars that I give away on my blog every year and what I wanted to do with this frame was create a nice way to display these calendars. If you want to download your own free printable calendars, I will link to that in the description below. Once the stain was dry, I looked for a clip to help me hang my calendar. This clip is one that I previously had and actually had previously spray painted. But if you need a new one, I have seen similar ones at the dollar store as well. Next, I measured with a ruler to find the center of the frame so I knew exactly where I wanted the clip and the calendar to sit. And then I used my favorite fast drying glue, Power Tack, which I will link to below, to glue the clip in place. It only took a couple of minutes for that glue to set and then the calendar was ready to use. I love that I finally have a nice way to display my calendars and keep track of my dates in the office. I definitely see this guy sticking around for a long time. Now we can move on to our second DIY, which involves that second wooden frame. I've never had a clock in my office to help keep me organized and I decided it was time to change that. And the first thing I had to do was drill a hole for the clock hardware to sit in. I wanted the hardware to sit towards the top, so since I knew that the frame was 12 inches wide, I measured 12 inches down each side of the frame and drew an X to find the center. Once I found that center point, I realized I actually wanted the hardware to sit a little bit above that, so I went about an inch above that and made a mark for my drill. Next, I needed some clock hardware, so I bought this clock at the dollar store. I didn't really like the look of it, so I decided I could buy this one and take it apart and use the hardware for a new clock. I used a flathead screwdriver to take most of the pieces of the clock apart and when it came to removing the hands from the front of the clock, 
I very gently held onto each hand with two fingers and pried it off. Once I knew the size of the hardware, I could drill my holes into the new clock face. I used a small drill bit to drill one pilot hole, and then I found a new drill bit approximately the size that I needed and drilled a second hole right over top of that. Then the final steps were to stain the wood piece a beautiful dark walnut color. Of course you can keep the wood this natural color if you prefer it. I just love the look of dark walnut and I already had some dark walnut elements in my office. Once your staining is done, you can put the hardware back on and your clock is ready to go. I'm planning to mount this guy up on the wall, but for now I put it on the counter in my office so you could get an idea of what it looked like when it was all finished. So the third way that I'm organizing my office with dollar store supplies is using these little wooden letters to make some labels for my mail folders. I already have folders on the wall from when I renovated my office last year, so now I'm taking some time to label them with these little 3D wooden letters. I have three folders that I'm going to label mail in, mail out, and receipts. Again, you can leave these wooden pieces just the color they are, but I chose to stain mine with that black stain again because I love the look of black on white and my file folders were white. Since these guys were small and pretty tricky to stain, I ended up just putting globs of my gel stain right onto my rag and basically just squishing the letters into the gel stain. It worked perfectly and easily coated all the sides of each letter. When the letters were ready, I used my favorite glue. You would not want to use a hot glue gun for this. And I used a dowel to apply glue to the back of all of my letters and put them up on my file folders. It was a quick and easy project and is the perfect way to organize all of my incoming and outgoing mail. My next project is a quick and easy one that involves these little wooden trays and some peel and stick tile that I found. I started by grabbing my absolute favorite black paint, which is from Fusion Mineral Paint. I will link that in the description below and I painted this tray with just one coat of beautiful black paint. When the coat of paint was dry, I started cutting the sheets of tile to fit right into the bottom of the tray. You can see that I started with a little cutter, but I found scissors to just be faster and easier. I actually needed two sheets of the tile to be able to fit across the whole bottom of the tray. When everything was cut and fit, I just peeled off the backing and stuck them right to the bottom of the tray. I'm using this little tray right now to store all of my office accessories and little trinkets. It's functional for the space and looks really pretty, so I'm really happy with the results for such a quick and easy DIY. My next project is another quick and easy little storage solution. I found these boxes left over from Christmas at the dollar store, as well as these tote bags which I grabbed right away just because I really loved the pattern on the sides of them. If you guessed that I might not be a fan of the pattern on these boxes, you would be right. So my first step was to try and paint the lids black. 
I did two coats on the first lid just to see how well it would actually coat and dry before I did the second lid. I thought the pattern on these tote bags would make a really nice pattern for the bottom of my boxes. So I cut one whole side of the tote bag off, cutting any of the seams right off and then got rid of the excess pieces. My plan was to wrap the bottom of these boxes just like you would wrap a present. I started by bringing the tote bag material up one side of the box, leaving just enough at the top that I'd be able to fold some over, and then snipping the corners so that they'd be able to fold easily. Once all of my cuts were done, I used one of my favorite fast drying glues to glue that side panel in place. Then I turned the box around and did the same thing on the other long panel. On the sides, I only wanted maximum an inch of the print to fold over inside the box. So the first thing I did was cut off any excess material. I folded over any sides that were left over so they were kind of wrapped like a present but kept a straight flat edge on the side and then I wrapped the leftover pieces inside the box. Finally, I glued those pieces in place and did the same thing on my final edge of the box. Then I repeated the entire process with a second box so that I would have two pretty boxes to stack and help organize my office. Guys, I'm so happy that I had spotted that little patterned tote bag. I think these look like store-bought decorative boxes and they look amazing sitting on my shelves. My final organization project of the day involves these cork sheets that I picked up at the dollar store and these little wooden houses. Okay, well that's not entirely true because this ended up being my DIY fail for the day, but I did end up turning it into something that I really liked afterwards, so stay tuned. My plan here was to cut the cork so that it would sit nicely against the house and I'd have this little cork covered house that I could stick my pins into and put my notes on my desk. The problem was that I was relying on the cork cutting in fairly straight lines and also bending nicely around the roof of the house. When it came to actually putting the cork on, it didn't bend very nicely and the top of the house looked really crooked and awful. When I saw how the cork was breaking at the seams, I decided it was time for plan B instead. I mean, I couldn't keep this on my desk. Luckily, I had grabbed a couple other items from the dollar store, two more of these little wooden trays, and a couple of little wooden blocks. And I knew I could make something else out of these and was just hoping to incorporate that cork in some way. The first step to this new project was giving everything a nice white coat of paint. When I originally bought this tray and these cubes, I had noticed that the cubes fit exactly into the width of this tray. The problem was that when they were in there, I hated the way that you could see the handles on the side and also the way that you could see the handles when you were looking through the tray. I didn't think that looked very clean or very modern. But when my cork project failed, I thought maybe this would be a new, great way to use that cork instead. I decided to move the boxes forward slightly so that you wouldn't see the handles from the inside, and it would give me an extra little storage space at the back. And then I used my other tray that I hadn't painted to elevate the entire piece. I hadn't painted this one, but I don't think you need to since it's going to be entirely hidden as you'll see in a minute. 
I used the extra cork from my failed project to cut pieces that could wrap around both trays. This gave my desk organizer a little upgrade and allowed me to kind of make one good project out of two not so good projects. All that was left to do was glue all of these pieces together and then my dollar store office organization projects were done. And that's it. This is my new cork covered desk organizer. It looks perfect, it's functional, and I love it for the space. So that's all six of my organization projects done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your favorite project in the comments below. Thanks for watching!